assignments. Dance Marathon, we've got Luke, Debate, Savannah, Track and Field. Yep, I think L, you would be perfect for that. Wait, what? What about my editorial? Well, you can do your editorial, and when you're done with that, you can jump on the track and field. There'll still be time. I'm not really a sports kind of person. Ah, but you are a writer. And writers have to be pushed. And sometimes, writers have to write about things that they aren't necessarily comfortable with or know a lot about. We all, young people especially, have to stretch themselves and work outside of their comfort zones. I just still don't see the point. The point is jumping through that hoop. And the point is getting that question mark off my board and getting a name on there. All right, fine, you're the boss. Okay, cool. Let's do pictures first before I get started. So, should we hit a pose or...? Mm. <laughs> okay. Uncertainty will understandably result in fear. When the unknown threatened our ancestors' survival, avoidance and aversion were the safest options. And now we're here towering over any unexpected task. When we step outside our comfort zones, stretch ourselves, we either overcome our fears or trigger our fight or flight response. Either way, we survive, and life still continues. <laughs> 